we are uh, HLT in here today. So if you're looking at um, this mess of crap on my uh, on my cutting mat here, and you're you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, stop! Stop what you're doing! Stop looking at this fucking video. Go, go, go down, go down here to the description where I, I show you where to buy this motherfucking thing, and um, do that first. Buy this first, and then come back to this video, and uh, I'll show you how to put the motherfucker together. So, now. Um, there. I'm assuming you did it. I'm assuming you went and bought the unit, and I'm assuming now you're wondering how to put the fucking thing together because you got this uh, random bag of crap, right? Um, it's astoundingly easy. Let's walk you through it one by one. First thing is uh, is the halogen light, and this is actually the driver to the unit. This is what does um, the vast majority of the work, and you're gonna be happy you have this little motherfucker. I I, I promise. Um, you're going to get this thing, and this is what the halogen light fits into. It's uh, made of ceramic, uh, metal, and then some uh, uh, high heat uh, uh, shrink wrap and, and silicone shrink wrap. You know, put the, whatever the fuck you put on that wires. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, dude. I've been drinking and smoking for a while. This is like the fucking third time I tried to film this goddamn thing, and I'm going to get it this time. I'm going to get it this time. Yes. So, anyways, this fucking thing and this fucking thing. We talked about those fucking things. Um, in this guy, we got this thing. It's full of beads. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pour these in here. And you might be thinking, well, <laughs> asshole, if you pour those in here, they're just gonna fucking pour out the bottom of it, right? It's a it's a bare tube. Well, that's why we got the screen. The screen's gonna go in here. It's gonna stop those beads from falling at the bottom. And uh, this little metal wire here is going to wrap around this guy, and it's gonna keep the uh, beads from coming out the top. So those two things together are gonna uh, make this thing actually work. Then we got this guy. This is a barrel connector. Um, you're gonna plug your power into this. Uh, you'll, uh, you're gonna need a little screwdriver, by the way, to use this guy. I'm gonna use this little flathead thing here I got from, uh, I got from a vendor. So, other stuff I got here, I've got a, a pair of wire snips, and I have a little pair of flathead, um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, um, I can't remember the name of things. You know, the the pliers that have needle nose, need, a little tiny pair of needle nose pliers, call them snub noses. And then um, we also got this, this is the lab clamp. And we're gonna try to bend this so that it is an appropriate stand. That's gonna be fun, huh? That'll be the first time I do it. This guy here is a, a fitting tool slash mouthpiece. This is very important too. So um, let's go through it. The only thing that I haven't mentioned is the O-rings and you know, O-rings are not, they're not sexy. So let's not talk about it. First thing we're gonna do is um, we are going to take this little wire here and we're gonna bend it into a U-shape and then we are going to jam it through the holes just like they taught you how to do in middle school. Jam it right through the holes and then a baby comes out. There you go. Yeah. That shit looks real good. Is that right? God damn it, I don't fucking remember. No. Other way. Yes. So. I don't know if you saw that. I put the U in the wrong direction the first time. So now I put the U in the other direction. And uh, it naturally lays in the correct spot. How gorgeous. Look at that. So I'm going to grab our needle nose pliers here. And uh, we are going to pull the wire through on both ends so that it's nice and tight. Okay. And now we're going to bend those two wires over. You are going to have a longer length of wire than I did. Um, a, a significantly longer, perhaps even double the length that I did. The reason I have a smaller wire is because, um, as I've mentioned previously, I've been torturing myself tonight uh, by continually filming these videos over and over and over again because I am a fucking glutton for punishment. So, what I am struggling with right now is to get these very tiny pieces of wire that I specifically cut to length together so that I can uh, 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 twist them. 
you may find this tremendously boring. And if you do, fuck you. Seriously, just go just go to hell. Watch some other fucking video how to put this goddamn thing together. I'm sure Red's gonna have one that'll be fantastic. You don't have to watch me dick around with this shit and insult you. Ridiculous. I swear to God, I'm a nice person normally. <laughs> so, I genuinely hope you don't have to go through that hell. Because you're going to have longer wires. So you won't have to go through that hell. See? Don't twist it up. Now, here's what it looks like. You got that guy wrapped around here. And it's blocking the majority of the two holes. So um, these are not going to be able to slip out the top once we put this in. Now... I'm going to take the light and I'm going to go ahead and um, push it in the posts. Now, I, I need to show you something important. So if you look at this, this little thing in the center of these two posts is rounded. So if we try to really bury this thing all the way in, um, it's going to try to kind of yaw in one or the other direction. So we don't want to do that. We want a little bit of distance between that piece of ceramic and uh, the whole thing. And we want that to look nice and straight. So, step one, two, like fucking shit. How long has this video been going now? How long did it take me to do that? Like 40 minutes, seven minutes and 25 seconds. Jesus Christ. I might fast forward through some of this. I'll be honest with you. This is an alcohol wipe. And now I'm gonna clean my filthy finger terps off of this gorgeous halogen. Let that air dry, air dry that shit. I'm going to take this O-ring. Now, you have three O-rings here. You might be wondering, why do I have three fucking O-rings? The reason you have three fucking O-rings is because these things come in different sizes. Surprisingly, glass does not come in a consistent shape, asshole. So, you might have a big one. You might have a small one. Uh, if you have a big one, use the big O-ring. If you have a small one, use a small O-ring. I have a small one, so I'm going to use a small O-ring. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'll show you right now. Take the small O-ring, slip it all the way over, and what it's got to do is it's got to um, uh, just slide over this uh, this bevel on the post. I'm gonna add a little twist on it, which is I'm going to pull it over uh, the little twist I have there, and that will keep the O-ring in place as we push it in. Gorgeous. That looks really nice. I'm reasonably happy with that. Better. Okay. So, let's put the screen in. We'll center it right there. You know, I'm going to show you something real quick because there's uh, something important you need to know. Depending on how you're going to use this, and, and we recommend you use this to, to basket pack, um, you might use this uh, as your stem, but if you have something else that's dedicated to it, Use this to measure where you want to put um, your screen. So by that, I mean literally put it like this. So I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean here. Here's um, a green one, which is kind of clear. If I put this over here, you see it's kind of flush with that thing right there. Put this thing in. <laughs> That's wrong. Put this thing in. And look at that shit. It's a little bit, it's a little bit higher up than that thing now. Now here's the one that I'm going to use. This was made by uh, Glass Tacular uh, on Reddit and Instagram. Fucking absolutely gorgeous glass pack crusher. I've got another one too that he made me. Oh my god! It, I, 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 words fail to describe just how beautiful, incredible these units are. But these are what I'm going to be using to actually vape out of this thing. So I'm going to use this to figure out where I want to put my um, screen. So you see how high that motherfucker is? That's how high I want it to be. Um, if the screen's that high, it doesn't matter if these other ones are a little bit lower. Uh, we're still going to get enough heat to those to, to vape a basket. So you just want it to be based on, on whichever one is your tallest unit, which is going to be this. So I'm going to place that guy right over. I'm going to position the screen. Uh, I'm going to try to do it pretty flush in the middle, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'm going to take um, this guy. Put it right on the center and push that screen in 
roll it around a little bit. Okay. And now what you should see is that we have um, a screen in there. Now it's very sturdy. It's, it's astoundingly sturdy, but I'm gonna keep this thing in here because I really don't want these beads to fall over. Um, my, my last video had that happen and uh, it was just a fucking mess. So let's pour the beads in. All right, our beads are seated. We're gonna take our halogen unit, which we've cleaned off our filthy, dirty finger terps from. We're gonna take our fitter O-ring, slide it over to. This is going to ensure that as we push it in, it's gonna stay nice and centered. And in we go. So I felt the beads. I have felt the beads. What I'm gonna do now is flip the whole fucker upside down. Keep pushing. Here's what I want. I want this piece of glass now. It's about this far, see? Here's what I want. I want the bulb to be touching the screen on this end, okay? That's what should happen. It should be very firmly placed. The bead should not have a lot of play in there because there should be just enough. And the uh, bulb should be touching the screen. So let's check and see if we have got it. It's looking, um, it's looking pretty good. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell, frankly, because uh, we've blocked a little bit of the light in here, but um, I might not be unhappy with that. Actually, you know what, now that I pushed it in, I see I'm actually a little bit to the cent I'm, I'm a little bit to the right, which is okay. We can fix that. Here's the pusher one. We're gonna pull that whole assembly right back out and see if anything weird happened to it. Yep, see now how it's bent to the side a little bit? I'm gonna fix that bend, push it in a little bit more, make sure it's seated real nice, but we need a little bit of distance, remember, between that, that um, middle post there. That's good, okay. You may be tempted to take this thing, which is full of beads, and turn it over. Don't do that. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I fucking know. God, it's bad, dude. Anyways, so put the pusher back on. Now let's try again. So I'm not gonna wait till I hit beads this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. Oh yeah, I think we're definitely better centered that time. Okay, so we're in, shaking around, nothing shaking right, it's nice. So the next step is up. We're gonna attach this to this. Here's what I want to do. I want to take off a little bit of the length of these wires. Beep. Beep. See, got a little nub left. It doesn't matter that they're slightly uneven. It's not going to bother me at all knowing that they're in there slightly uneven. Not at all. That's not going to haunt me. That's not going to haunt me at all. Stronger than that. Now we want to, we need to make sure that there's no wires coming out of this assembly touching other parts because if there's any little stray wires coming out of this thing, you know what's going to happen? You're going to short the whole assembly. I forgot something. I'm going to twist these wires. When you twist these wires together, it makes the whole thing just a lot sturdier, a lot more easy to maneuver. And um, when I tie these wires into 
the barrel connector, this twist is going to be locked in, essentially. And in. You know, that one's in so good. Let's go ahead and tighten that one down first. Did I list? Fust. Sound like fucking your Ron Brooks. I'm sorry, I feel like you're on books. I think the guy's kind of a twat. Ah, in you go. Maybe we should all just be shellfish. Ah, let's see here. Okay, nice and tight. We preserve a twist. Okie dokie. Should we plug it in? See if the motherfucker works? That'd be nice, right? Try not to go over 6.8 to begin with. Um, whew. Look at that. So I hope you saw how I did that. So now that I can actually see what's going on in there, all I did was uh, back the light out a bit by uh, giving us a little tiny pull. And uh, that gave a little bit of room from those borosilicate beads. And then once I did that, I just turned the whole assembly back over and the uh, beads kind of corrected themselves. They fell in the correct locations. I'm gonna turn this thing all the way down to the lowest setting and uh, see if you can see the light in there. And you see it's, uh, it's reasonably centered which is exactly what we want. The closer it is to the center, the easier it's going to be for you to get a nice even roast out of it. And uh, as you can see, look at this. That is pretty fucking gorgeous. I think I'd like to push it down maybe a little bit on this side. I'll be very careful not to touch the sides because I really don't want to short the whole assembly out. There we go. And now the whole basket is a little tiny bit closer. See, a little tiny bit closer on the whole side. That's gonna work absolutely great. I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, now let's see if we can make this lab clamp into something resembling a functional clamp. Now, um, I'm gonna use these same little tiny, uh, little tiny pliers. And so we'll see, these things are, are bent in like kind of a ring. Now we want to use this part right here as the base. So we want it to lay like that, but we want to pull, literally pull these things up, which means we want to bend these things down. We're going to try to, to follow the loop here. We're going to try to follow sort of like the, um, the natural orientation that it already has, because I really don't want to um, mess anything up, you know? And it's gonna be a lot easier to ask it to do the thing it's already doing than to um, try to ask it to do something that is uh, significantly different than what it's already doing. I actually like that almost. Okay, now that we have the natural bend uh, using the pliers, I'm just using my hand to put pressure right here and push these two things in. I think my car alarm just started going off. That really annoys me. Okay, we're gonna try to ignore it. Okay, that's how our lab clamp is looking right now. And now um, this thing actually works best horizontally. So what I wanna do is try to get it on a little bend here. Ha. That is no, I just wanna stay up like that. I was hoping to get it to stay up quite, just like exactly like this, but I don't think it likes that. So you know what? Let's do the full bend. You see what I did? I just touched the hot part, and even though it wasn't hot for very long, it still hurt. <clears throat> These are a little janky, huh?
That still isn't doing what I want it to do. All right, let's see if we can get it to do this successfully. Maybe let's try to turn it around. Nope. This shit's hard, man. No joke. So, if you're having issues like I am, I might recommend larger pliers. At least the ones big enough where you could bend um, both these pieces up at the same exact time. You know, it's also kind of stupid. I bet that I'm trying to do it like I'm doing it because obviously trying to bend these things both at the same time is going to be a little bit more difficult than um, doing them separately. Look at, look at what I've done here, okay? Listen. I am clearly not the person that you should be asking questions about how to complete the fucking lab clamp. Let's say that. Right now. Not only is that clear, I am fully comfortable with that. <laughs> I think that's, like, I don't know that I can, like, literally bend this anymore. You know, I think that we may release a tutorial just on bending this fucking thing right, you know? I'll be honest with you, because, um, oh, that's not easy. Okay. This is a fucking... This is a shit show, guys. Wait. I guess the thing that I'm missing here is the fact that I don't have it actually plugged in, so I don't know if it... Listen, don't bend the fucking lap clamps. Peace. <laughs>